what is going on guys and welcome to our video <laughs> <laughs> really today um, we are in wales and we are climbing that over there that is snowden um that is the tallest mountain in england and wales it's been on lauren's bucket list for how long now uh, it's two years two years so we are finally doing that before we um, head off on our travels it's yeah. something to tick off the list but and, yeah yeah and i'm bricking it we're gonna power through we can do it i've got snacks water we're um we're literally about five minutes from the car park now and yeah we'll take you with us I'm <laughs> talking to you. I made friends. It's official. We've started. How do you feel with your first five steps into Snowden? Well, is it difficult? Yeah, I'm tired. I'm knackered. I'm actually scared I'm going to want to go back. Wish me luck. <laughs> Already been told off for using the drone. But I did just, literally just put it up there to show you where we parked. Pen Y Pass, Pen Y Pass, however you want to pronounce it. We'll put it uh, in here. <laughs> to yeah, show you. Just to show you what it looks like. So you know if you do come there. Yeah, and what was really cool is I just saw the sign I had on my goal board for the last two years. So manifestation and all that and I didn't even realise it was going to be the same path so super cool but yeah. The path we're doing is called the pig track, um, it's called the pig track so it's the one, it's, it's almost semi challenging, it is a good, it is a little bit of a good test. I think there's three or four you can do, crib gox being the hardest one, I'll let you know how Lauren gets on, even how I'll get on to be honest. We're five minutes into this. I mean, I just look at this view, man. That is outrageous. I feel like I'm going to topple over. So, this is how far we've got. Um, stay, status on Lauren is she's dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sweating like an absolute good one. It's so hot. There's no noise apart from Lauren going Today's a good lesson for me in terms of being too optimistic in how long it takes us to get up there. Me thinking it'll be an hour and 45 to two hours. Nope, but then when you <laughs> but then when you're with a Lauren and then you gotta get the drone out and all that, it takes uh it takes a little bit longer. But you're winning. I'm winning. I'm a winner. You're a winner. Yeah. <laughs> well. 
Like it was made for me. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> This bit here that we get to in about 20 yards, this is probably the most, apart from obviously being at the summit, the most scenic section where you can take pictures, right where these white rocks are. Let's see why in a second. would be on his own <laughs> but I'm probably slowing him down a little bit so we've got we've hit four kilometers and the summit is literally there so not long to go Ooh. Oh, can't wait to have a drink and a bit of food after <laughs> oh. Put the drone up now and Although, show you. I was saying a minute ago, I don't think I can sit here for too long because that is freak me out. It how is. High it is. <laughs> Thank you. 
We've actually Pretty been really mad. quick walking back down to be fair. 38 minutes. We were up there. It's done well. just had some food we literally just grabbed some burgers there wasn't really much to choose from so we went with what we could but we've got to shoot because we've got to check into our hotel and then we actually have dinner booked for like an hour and a half time but we're gonna end today here because we're gonna just go for dinner and then chill tonight because our legs are a bit like <sighs> at the minute but we will pick up with you guys tomorrow when we take you to a little Italian village and we're gonna head to either a beach or a lake but we will see you tomorrow oh, you're <laughs>